Hey, it's Big Bob on Friday the 28th of, I was going to say December. <laughs> I'm rushing a little bit. Of July. July, that's right. Ain't no lie, I got July. So today's word is then. Then. I'm doing my little Devo today. You can see it here. Uh, there, you know, doing the Red Cross and got my little. It isn't the right. Let me fix that here. No squeezing yet. All right. So today's word is then. Then. So we can we can use the word then to help us to be aware of the fact that we've got a next step. There's always going to be a next step, a next something. Then. Then what's going to happen? Then what's going to happen? And of course, the source of our of our then is not Zen. Talked about it on the road here on the way in. Uh, Zen is, uh, you know, this whole idea that, that we're going to somehow, we're going to, we're going to get to a quiet spot. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to think about it. We're going to make sure it happens. We're going to have a great idea. We're going to wear red suspenders and a KLOS blood drive shirt. We're going to have special glasses. We're going to have our yellow hat on from the embassy suites. We're going to, we're going to, uh, we are, we're not going to do any of that. That's not going to help. Not going to help, not going to happen. It's simply, it's just, our best is as filthy rags. We let the Lord, we let the Lord orchestrate our lives. We let the Lord guide us. Then we got something going on. Then we see miracles and healings. Then we can give God the glory. So when you run into trouble, when you run into difficulties, when you don't know what the next then is going to be, then you go to God and you listen to God and God will tell us, God will tell us exactly what it is that we need to do and how it is that we need to proceed and if we follow the Lord's leading, if we follow what God says for us, then, then we're going to have success. He said that he will work all things together for good for those who have called upon his purpose in Christ Jesus, who love him and call according to his purpose. So, I, I'm really excited about today. I'm excited about what's going to happen today. Uh, we got kind of a late start. It's a little after 11. And so I, I got I got here and every chair was packed. There wasn't a, there wasn't a chair anywhere around here. It was crazy. My nurse, uh, she said that I got here a little early. I said, oh, I know, a little bit early. But a lot of times I've gotten here early and they just slipped me right in, you know. So it's kind of like, well, you know. And they have new snacks today. They got these wonderful uh, planters, uh, mixed nuts and M&Ms mix. And they've also got some wonderful, uh, like uh, granola bars that are, that are coming through, which are really, really cool. So that's that's awesome. Hi, <sighs> doggy. It's 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 nice to let our imagination run. Sometimes I'll be in, in bed at night. And that's where I should be. <laughs> oh no, he's walking the streets at night. He's no, I, I'm in my bed, and and I, uh, you know, I have dreams, and I have imagination, I have visions of things that that I can do, and that'll be happening. And um, it's good to let the Lord kind of guide you. And then if you have a bad dream, I don't really have any bad dreams for really. it. I really have, really have any kind of a nightmare or something I describe as a nightmare. I never had really night terrors. Uh, I was a little tiny little tiny 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 wispy fella I would uh, have uh, I would have these these imaginations so I look out the window I can show you the windows I looked out too I look out these windows and I would imagine things out in the, out in the bushes and the shadows and spooky things I'd be you know I'd be kind of spooked but that of course is uh, not from God that was not from God uh, the Lord does not come to steal, kill, or destroy. The Lord comes to take us from glory to glory to glory, just to keep raising us up. And so that's why we can be very, very happy that the then, the then in our lives, it's going to be then God did this, then get God did that. I've heard it said that uh, stuff happens, but but God, but God, but God. That's a famous uh, sermon starter. Has anybody heard that? Anybody? Anybody all heard that? Sure, you have. But God. Uh, so then God. Similar idea. Then God. Did, then God did that. 
And we focus on God, we focus on His Word, we focus on, uh, we focus on what, what it is that, that's good and holy and righteous and true. Uh, and we look over at somebody and we go, wow, that's an awesome smile you have on today. You got a great smile. Ooh, that's amazing. How'd you do that? Uh, I, I, I go to the Costco about every day there out in San Dimas. So if you ever want to see me, just wait to the Costco. You'll see Bob. He'll be coming by sometime. <laughs> and uh, so I always go by the clothing area and I go, wow, looks fantastic. Good job, guys. And uh, I say hi to my managers, you know. Hello, how's it going there, Aaron? Good to see you, boss. And uh, the people at the front door, if I go in the exit door, I go, hey, count one over here, you know. And I, I give them the one count uh, for that. And wherever I go, wherever I go, I try to be positive, and it doesn't really take much effort. I just mentally remember that I, I just mentally remember that Got a special, like a little. Is that cantaloupe or what is it? What do you get? Oh, it's a big pistachio. It's a pistachio. That's what it is. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, you brought it in and you forgot it? Well, where'd you, you don't know where you got it though. Right, right, right. That'd be cool if we all had different kind of. That'd be amazing. <laughs> See, you can encourage the guy. He has a giant pistachio that he can squeeze us with. And um, if you all have squeezers, except for me, I don't look at me. Oh, that's cool. I don't, I don't want any squeezers. I don't want any pillows or blankets or little doodads or little frilly things. No, I just, I just sit here and I'll show you. I just, I just sit here and just, just give, give, give. So it's a gift, though. It's a gift, and not everybody can give like I can give. Uh, and I, it's nothing. It's nothing in credit to me. It's just God's grace. It's just God's holy grace. It's the Lord's holy grace. Because people come in here and they get sick and they throw up and they get dizzy. How's it going, Miss Christina? Feeling okay? Yeah, how are you? Awesome, awesome. Thanks, Lorraine. You're doing the, a good job. Uh, your YouTube channel. Oh, it's called Bob's Daily Devo. Bob's Daily Devo. Yeah. D-E-V-O. Right, that's right. Third devotional. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Look at you. I'm just taping it right now. So you'll be like, hey, I saw myself on the needle. <laughs> and then little, little Ethan, he's always like, he's in the back seat and I'm doing it in the car. Twelve in the car. He's like, we're going to where we want to watch it. Run out. Is that funny? <laughs> oh, have a good look. What are you going to have? You have lasagna or tacos? No, or what? Um, beans and mapales. What's your impalas? I know about papusas now. I see papusas everywhere now. I never knew what they were. Have you tried them? I have. It's just basically like a quesadilla, but it's a different kind of yes, cheese. Yes, different flavor. Um, Mapala is cactus. Like a cactus um, salad. You took, you took the needles out, right? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh hello, Bob. I had the cut. <laughs> a lot of times I go home, Kenny will go, can you stop by Manco Paco and get those tacos? It's like this place on, on Holt. It has the best tacos ever. They're amazing. So, yeah. <laughs> have a good lunch. Well, what are you going to drink? you have your water or what? Water. Like, would you get it from your house or what? Filtered? Just right here. That's good. <laughs> uh, have a good day. If you, if, you, if you avoid those bottles, they don't have to make them and recycle them. It saves a lot of energy. If you just refill a regular bottle, like my Bubba. See, so like the Bubba here. I do have one, but I forgot it. Yo, oh, yo, oh, yeah. Have a good day. Then. I'll be back here for you. Right. If you need anything, let me know. You just text me. I'll, I'll run mine up and get you. I just jump over here. I'll see you on the connections here. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. So that's our that's our, our nurse there. She's awesome. It's a good job. She's very nice to me because I'm kind of an eccentric. I, I don't I don't fit the mold. You know, I should be laying here like this, like a dead man, and rolled in blankets and staring at a tube. And reminds me of Wally, actually. You know, have you ever seen the movie Wally? Uh, one of my favorite movies ever. And uh, young people in the family and I just watched that movie just here a day or two ago. And um, it's amazing. <laughs> I'll have to talk to Steve about those pictures, yeah. Say, Christian, when you get a chance, all those pictures are crooked. Every one of them is like a, a jaunted, maybe it's an artistic representation. Just kind of be nice that they're all like straightened out. I straightened the ones out over there. I just noticed these are all kind of crooked, especially one on the far left. They're all they're all angled there somehow. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it's like, it's like Picasso or something. Right? I was saying all the pictures, James, are all crooked over there. They're all on an angle. 
I know, I gotta get in early and straighten out those pictures. That'll fix your wagons, yeah. <laughs> so, alrighty. Let's see, you can, then, then, then. Yeah, maybe it was an earthquake. This building's so solid, there better not be any earthquakes. At least I'm near a pillar, you know. There's a nice guy coming in again. Alrighty. Uh, here, yo ho, yo ho. So what's your next then? What's the next then? We we have a we have an ability to listen to hear what God is going to tell us next. We can we can definitely do that. That's our part. Our relationship with the Holy Spirit. Our relationship with God is one that's based on it's a relationship. It's a conversation. It's uh, telling God what we think, listening to what He says. You know, speak to us through His Word. He'll speak to us through other people. He'll speak to us through uh, a John Gray last night. He was talking. And he was saying that, that, uh, that God opens doors for us. God will open the door. And we don't have to go knocking and pounding and getting out our tools. And where's my tools? Uh, you know, I might pop the hinges off. And we don't have to do all that. Uh, the Lord opens doors. I know that uh, where I am right now today, it's, this is, this is going to make me cry. My family saw a red door that, you know, it was part of the Casa del Green. The front door is red, it was red. And the door of the Casa La Victoria is also red. And that was our that was our connection point. The two doors are red. And I didn't have to go and paint the door. I didn't have to go and, and, and do anything special. And I didn't have to push my way in. I was invited and uh, the Lord has continued to open doors and open opportunities and, and uh, how's it, everything good? There we go, thank you. Yeah, we're doing fine, thanks a million. There we go. Yep, I got 99 minutes, 99 minutes. 99, 99, Bobby's there in the chair, 99 minutes to go, Harry. There we go, yep. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a good It's a good Friday. Yeah, I don't know if it's really a good Friday, but every Friday is a good Friday. Every day is a good day. Wake up and go, Oh, I can breathe. Yay, praise the Lord, I'm alive. That's good, that's good. And there's Christina, she's gonna make a phone call there. All right, all right. Uh, oh, Ice, you're gonna get the list out. All right, so then, what's the next then? It's exciting, if you look at life like that, what is the next then? What is the next then? What is the next? And, and, you're, and you're expecting good things. You're expecting grace and mercy and kindness. Sure, things happen. I've been in accidents. Uh, I went a couple days ago to, to move the car. It was... He was dead. I looked up, and there was my neighbor. I said, hey, neighbor, can you help us with the jump? You had the jumper cable? I got, we got the jumper cables. And then, bada bing. And as she's jumping the car, I said, uh, you know, I said, well, I'll, I'll tighten up your battery. Oh, no. And she, she was going to work. I mean, if I hadn't have jumped on it right then, in that moment, there's no way that it would have happened because you know, the neighbor was gone and everyone else was gone. So I caught that neighbor just in the split ticket. So then... Yeah. It was the then. And a lot of times it's timing. It's, it's just split-second timing. You see God's miracles. Now, but Bob, what if we don't get the split second timing? What if we're slow? What if we mess up? What if we screw up somehow? Well, that's okay. God will work all things together for good. Uh, you know, then I could have called AAA. I could have maybe knocked on Russell's door across the street. Hey, Russell, can you help me out? Uh, you know, there would be ways to work it out. The main, the main praise was that Kenny didn't get out to the car at 11:45 and go. And then little Steve, you couldn't get to school, it would have been a mess. All right, we're out of time. My director says we're out of time. Uh, well, that's our word then today. Go ahead and look to Philippians 2. Just Google Philippians 2, and therefore, if you have any encouragement, we're going through that whole thing about uh, what we can do. Uh, you want to reach me, give me a call. 213-713-8954, 8954greenatt.net. On the Twitter, it's Mr. Bob at Bob Bob 8954 And, of course, you're watching Bob's Daily Devo here on YouTube. Love you. Have a great day. This is Seth Jesus. Get to Bible Leading Church. And tomorrow, we'll have more Daily Devo.